Okay, today we're just replacing the leaking fork fluid, uh, fork seal. First thing, get your chrome cover off. Then you gotta get your dust shield off. Just tap this up a little bit. This will all be replaced. And then, you gotta get your fork bolt out. It pretty much holds a lot of it together. And this will allow you to drain it while you're taking everything else apart. Just gonna tap that. It's better to keep it all compressed when you take this bolt out or it'll just spin the dampener rod inside. That's where it's gonna get messy. So replace that bolt. Pump it a few times, let's that fluid get out of there. back out. Now we're gonna pop the seal out. Take this little spring clip out. We're gonna replace that every time too. This was the fork that was leaking, but when you do one, you should do both. And you just like a slide hammer, you just comes out. Put that down there. Put the guy out of there and spray some of this in there, clean all the old stuff out. Now we're gonna rebuild the hole. We're gonna replace the bushings. You got two bushings and this is the seal that was leaking. So slide that off. Slide this bushing off. This one's a little trickier. Get off, I just open it. Turn it a little bit. Again, I grab these guys and pop it open. Putting a new one on anyway. Everything I need in one package. New dust cover. Bushing. Snap ring. Seal. Always replace the crush washer and bolt. This one's on. Lubricate them with a little fork fluid on the inside. Slide that back over. I always lubricate the outside too, the new fluid. Take the other bushing. That's the old one, folks. <laughs> Slide this guy over. Lubricate that one too. It's all nice and clean. Put your new guy, put your cap over there. And you don't want that cap to slide off, so you kind of just push it in there, hold this down. Take this guy here. Slide your new metal sleeve over. I was let this kind of drop, this little slide hammer drop down a little bit, put that other bushing in place. Just slightly bring her down. Take your new seal, and this is where a lot of people always mess up. Always make sure your number side is up. I've repeated that a few times. Slide that bad boy over. Your seal driver. Get down in there. Your new spring clip, that's when you know your seal is seated all the way, is if this clip goes back in. All new. Pop your new dust shield over the top. Lightly tap that in there too. 
You got your chrome slider cover. Put that back on there. Just lightly tap that down with this guy too. Beautiful. Put it back in here. This being a 2000 lowrider, it takes 10.7 fluid ounces of type E fork fluid. 10.7. I was pump it a few times to get any air and it lubricates all the bushings and everything before I put everything else back in there. Get it nice and lubricated. And drop your spring back in there. You get your fork cap. Always replace the O-rings on that too. That's it.